All right, a great drill to work on a lot of aspects of the game that are important, particularly mentally. It's a tough drill. They're going to go be going back to back. They won't even see each other until they pass each other. We have them turn backwards in both lines, and they're going to go on the opposite sides of a line. We got to get some separation here. So you need a line or some cones or something so players don't back into each other. They're both going to be going backwards. Once they pass, the person with the ball is going to be throwing it to the person that just passed them. The difficult thing here is for the players to adjust to the fact that they are moving backwards farther apart from each other than they realize. They've got to put some juice on the ball. We'd like for them to throw something like a rundown throw where they're up here and they flick the ball pretty hard forward because their body's going backwards and the receiver is going backwards. If you hang it out there softly, the receiver's already gone from where the ball lands. We may see that, but it's a difficult drill at times, particularly when players are first learning. This group has practiced it a little bit. They're working at it. They're getting close to having it the way they want, but we may see some bad throws. That's okay. That's a part of this. You've got to learn to adjust to frustration and fatigue and boredom and fear and anger. That's where the difference comes in the players that win and the players that don't as you climb the ladder of skill levels. That's the purpose of all of these drills. Dynamic focus. Can you focus while you're moving? Can you focus while your mind's having all kind of things done to it and your body's in all kind of awkward positions? If you can do this, then you can focus in the games. That's why we work at this. We're going back to back. Watch it. See how they get it done. All right, here we go. You're ready. Good speed going back. Got the ball up. Got to put a little bit more juice on it. Once she catches it, the next player goes. Got to remember to juice the ball a little bit. Got to catch the catchable balls. Got to catch the catchable balls. Players have got to focus on these throws. Expect a bad throw and make a good catch. Those are the things we're working at. Good job adjusting. Remember to throw the ball overhanded. Throw the ball overhanded. Start it right here. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Got to adjust. We got to catch catchable balls. Got to focus on the ball regardless of fatigue or frustration or body positions. We got to catch the catchable balls. Got to catch the catchable balls. That's one of the goals here. If you're a coach doing this, you want to count. Can we get so many in a row? Can we get a certain percentage? If we did this 100 throws, how many will we catch? How many will we catch? If we do it for five minutes, how many times can we get it done right? How sloppy do we get? Do we make good throws? Do we focus? Do we take care of our teammate? If she makes a bad throw, do we make a good catch? Those are the things. That's the purpose of these drills. Good job right there. Now we're getting the job done. All right, making good adjustments. This looks good. Hang in there. Keep working at it. Ending up really strong right here. That's the quality of champions, and this girl, ladies have done it. They're doing a great job. One more good throw here. Let's stop it right there. Great job ending it up.